Hello everyone and welcome back to Range Rebel Productions. Um, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to completely disassemble and reassemble a Smith & Wesson M&P 15 chambered in 5.56223. Um, it's very simple. This is um, very similar to the M4 carbine which is used in the military and I would like to demonstrate how to take this thing apart for cleaning and reassembly. So let's get started. Um, basic tools is what you're going to need for this job is just one multi-tool. Um, you can do anything with this. Um, you need something that has a pair of the needle nose pliers which is going to be very helpful. Um, but before we start taking it apart one thing I want to recommend, and I always say this, is weapon safety. Make sure before you work on any weapon, you always clear the weapon out to make sure there is nothing in the chamber. So it is not going to go bang and you're not going to injure yourself while trying to do this. So, the first things first, when you go to take this thing apart, make sure the weapon's on safe. You're going to remove this pin in the back. And it'll slide down like this. Okay. Next, you'll grab this rail in the back here, pull the little clip, pop that out. Your whole bolt assembly will come right out of there. Just set that off to the side, pop this out, set that off to the side, and then you have the front pin. Keep this closed while you do that. Pop this pin forward, and then it's just disconnect. And you can basically set this off to the side for right now there is nothing else on here that you're going to want to take apart um, everything that you need to get to is right here um, and then of course like cleaning out the barrel you'll need a um, like a cleaning kit with, with some rods um, some pads some brushes but to take apart the bolt which is going to be pretty simple You'll find this little cotter pin on the side of the bolt right here. This is where you need your needle nose pliers. Okay. I mean, you could do it with, I mean, anything else, I suppose, but to get it started, who knows, I might even push this back in here too far when I put it back together. <laughs> can use a um, little allen wrench get that down in there just to pop it up pull that pin out set that off to the side and drop the firing pin set that down and then on the top here you want to spin that to the other direction. Grab a hold of your needle nose pliers, pop that out, set that off to the side, and then just pull pull that right out. That's it. Um, there's nothing more to take apart on this, and there's nothing more to take apart on this here. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you will notice there's going to be a lot of carbon built up on here from from the shooting, which is, I mean, for me, like I use a, a, just a regular knife, scrape that off of there, and then on the back of your uh, firing pin, it's going to be caked in carbon too. But that was pretty simple to take this thing apart. Um, Another thing you can do, I mean, you don't have to, but you can take out the coil spring in the back. Pop this out of here. And then that just pops out. You don't have to do that. Um, I like to because, I mean, I like to keep metal fresh, fresh oil to prevent any rust um, in the future. So. I mean, when I do cleaning, like I will take this out and then just wipe uh, 
a little bit of oil on there just to keep it protected. And then you just put this back in. And there's a little pin right here that you just push down that allows this to pop out. Okay. So, let's get started. Let's put this thing back together. Let me show you how to do that. Now, um, just grab a hold of your bolt, and you're gonna grab a hold of this here. Stick this in the back. You'll kind of feel like it sticks, but it, it's gonna go in. Just give it a little snap, it'll go right there. I'll line it up to where your holes are lined up and you'll want to set this with long ways running parallel with the bolt. So we'll set that. Get this lined up right. Set that in there. Now, pull it forward. Turn that so it lines up the hole on the inside where you can set the firing pin back in there. Don't forget the cotter pin. Take that, put it back in that hole. It doesn't matter which direction it goes. Give it a little turn. Sometimes it might be a little difficult to get to go in there, but it'll go. Might have to tap it. Or use your needle nose. There it goes. Just maneuvering it to the right spot. Get it to work every time. So your bolt is completely reassembled. Grab this part next. You'll want to stick this into here. And you'll you'll feel like there's a little groove that you can pop that in and out of can't go like this it's it's not gonna work it'll just lock up on you best thing to do is set that in there like that and keep moving around until you find the spot where those grooves go set that into place grab your bolt there's a little groove on the bottom of this that the gas tube on the top of this bolt is going to ride in. That's where you're going to set right there. Make sure this bolt. Oh, I didn't line that up right. Pull this all the way forward. And then let's just put those in here. Next thing you're going to do is you grab, grab your uh, lower receiver. Take the upper receiver, put in the front pin, slide in the rear pin, it is all reassembled. Um, not too difficult, I mean this is the most, um, how do you say, Probably basic weapon you can take apart for a rifle and put back together. Um, when I was in the military, I was in the army. I, I loved carrying the M4. Um, it was awesome. So I had to uh, get a civilian version. Um, I chose the Smith and Wesson M&P 15. Um, I love the brand. I love the name. Um, that's just me. That's my opinion. That might not be yours. Um, but 
I would like to thank you for watching this video. Um, hopefully the stuff I talk about in here and the stuff I show you was helpful for you and um, teaching you how to take apart and reassemble your weapon for cleaning. Um, hope to see you again on my next future videos and please subscribe. Thanks a lot.